Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And uh, this message is around the Lion's Gate, which is happening at the moment. And so there is this big kind of, again, an opportunity to have breakthroughs kind of energetically giving you a gift to help you with manifesting your dreams and creating amazing magic in your life basically so a couple of things so this message is also about notice the signs that the universe is bringing you and what comes into your awareness so um just a couple of things that have happened over the last couple of days yesterday was just a gorgeous day for signs. I found a coin uh, that had a four leaf clover on it. And um, that was the first thing. And as I was getting into my car, I saw this coin and I was like, that's a four leaf clover. And uh, so when I got to, I'm now in Wiltshire at my mum's house and my mum had bought me a, uh, a bumblebee necklace. And uh, the sign of the bee is always, you know, that you're vibing and you are increasing your vibration. And uh, because uh, Esther Hicks and Abraham, um, they say that basically when the bumblebees come to you, you know, that's when you're vibing high. And uh, so there was just uh, some really lovely kind of, you know, just lovely signs and again, messages from the universe and we all have our own ones and, you know, it's just to pay attention to them because the other thing that's really been coming into my awareness strongly recently is about ultra marathon running, not just marathon running, but ultra marathon running, like 100 and 200 miles and all of these crazy amazing and they're you know sort of across Europe but mostly in America and um, one of the guys that um, has been coming up you probably know him if you're in America because he's super famous it seems but this dude called David Goggins and uh, he's just hilarious he's just insanely driven and insanely passionate and just like he's another level and so my guidance is just saying you know it's not, this journey is not, the rewards of this journey that you're on, it's not just a marathon, it's an ultra marathon energetically. Um, but if you can carry on pushing through, if you can get through the wall, if you can keep going, if you know that basically if you have passion for the journey, you can get through it and the end result is just going to be awesome. So that is the message that I keep getting and I can't, I'm just being bombarded with YouTube stuff around ultra marathons, which has just been like, okay, um, because I'm not, you know, I'm not a marathon runner, but I want to, I do want to do a marathon next year. But uh, yeah, so it's just been like really, um, just a, again, another level of just being really aware of what the, what messages that the universe is bringing into your awareness um and seeing into the messages behind it because sometimes we can just you know we it's really easy just to not pay attention to them right and just think oh that's a you know but you know everything has a purpose everything has a meaning the universe and your twin is constantly trying to get messages to you trying to get your attention all the time to give you signposts about what to do you know to help you come back into your reunion and uh that's just, you know, it's about being aware and about seeing it because sometimes we go through life and we don't really see. And um, it's just been a real lesson for me over the last couple of days because it's just been like bombarded with these ultra marathons and just, you know, my guidance saying, you know, you're in for the long haul, you know, this is, this is uh, ultra marathon, it's not just a marathon, but the rewards will be, you know, phenomenal. So, quite a cool message. So, um, I'm asking about what is the lion's gate going to do for us? And it is this. It's to believe in the impossible. Well, the, I mean, there you go. So, you know, these things are just like, you have to believe in the impossible. Because what that has been such a strong message throughout watching these clips about these people that are doing the ultramarathons. Is that 
it's, you don't think it's humanly possible to run 240 miles. Um, but these dudes, they just go. And, you know, you, you know, all the time they're saying, I'm surpassing what I thought was even possible for the human body. And so that's what we're doing. Do, you know, basically, if you're on this Twin Flame journey, if you're here and you're committed to it and you're committed to spreading your light and you're committed to re releasing all the energies and moving on up, moving forward, then your job is to believe in the impossible. So as the saying goes, some things happen only once in a blue moon. In other words, hardly ever. During this card suggests you're about to get a rare chance and that something one-off could well be about to happen. This card is a very positive sign if you felt like you're hoping for too much or asking too much of the universe. Whatever you are asking about, well, it might only happen once in a blue moon, but it can happen. How amazing is that? And that was at 555 on the clock. So this is the message that the universe wants you to know about your reunion. It can happen, right? However, with this rare opportunity before you, it's important that you believe in it. If you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never go in your favour, then guess what? It won't go in your favour. So be grateful for this card, which is a reminder to believe in your dreams. And the other message is, the person that you're inquiring about is a rare find. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. Miss this chance and it might come, not come back any time soon. Well, there you go. So that's what the Lion's Gate is doing. Pushing you to believe, believe beyond any doubt that you can do it. Believe in the strength and the power of you. Believe in the power of your reunion. Believe in the power of divine love. Believe that you're here to break boundaries. Believe that you're here to be a pillar of golden light and love. Wow. So the message that I'm going to read is letter 31 because in this video, the guy that um, the video is about, guess what? His number is 31. So that's the message. So I want you to know that you really do bring me goosebumps. You're a delight in every way. Delight my soul. Delight the essence of us. Like the match used to create the flame, you are the spark. The spark that has created a fire in me that has been burning ever since. It's just getting bigger and bigger, like a huge burning fire in my heart, and it's taking over every part of me and every part of my life. I know that the only way for it to be dispelled is to be in your arms, to feel your skin against mine, to feel your breath on my face, and to have my hands interlocked with yours. You are the essence of me. And I want you. Okay, so just gorgeous on every level. And I'm sure for all of us, that has particularly strong meaning for me. So I'm sure for lots of us, especially the interlocking hands. So letter 31, that you are doing great. Stop being so hard on yourself. Trust that your divine plan is unfolding just as it needs to. And as you agreed, it would. It may seem like you're on the slow boat to China. But that is happening for a reason, for you to develop and really shine your light, giving you the opportunity to really hone your skills. Remember, you are here to fulfill a mission of being a light bearer. So you need to know how to shine your light super bright. And you are. You are exactly where you need to be for your union. Your reunion is coming. Trust in you. Trust in your divine light. Trust in your power. Believe in our love. Okay, so believe in our love. Believe in the impossible. This is what the Lion's Gate is doing. You know, giving you that super boost of energy. It's an opportunity, right? So that's why it's super important to make sure that you're focusing your energy, your thoughts in the right way. You know, focusing them on the union. The reunion can happen. It's possible. The universe is in your favour. So 31, whoa baby, what a complete and utter shock to the system you've been. It's like putting a plug in an electric so shocker socket and whacking the circuit board up to super strength. Basically, I've never felt so alive as when I spend time with you. It frightens me how powerful I feel our connecting in my body, in my physiology. It's like waves of electrical currents going through me. 
I have never known anything like it. It's so super cool, yet totally mind-alteringly weird at the same time. But basically, you've turned me on, and now there's no going back. I want more. Okay, so that's that thing about saying it's so mind-alteringly weird. It's that thing that saying you freak me out. Um, one thing that happened, I've just recently, um, I've mentioned before that I've recently got back in contact with, my twins got back in contact. And one of the first things I just happened to mention um, about a beach. <laughs> and this just shows you that, you know, that the connections are so strong. And he was like, whoa, that's freaky. Or he said, he said something like, whoa, that totally freaked me out. And uh, because he had been to a beach and, of course, he was thinking, how the hell did you know that? Um, but it's not. It's just that, you know, we are telepathically talking to each other all the time and you don't really know, know it. It's sort of like a subconscious thing that's trickling through to your consciousness. At, that's 11.11 11 on the clock. Um but when you have that, you know, actual confirmation of it in the, you know, when you're two physical bodies and you, you actually, because it, it kind of, it's again, it's realising that we're spirit living a human experience. And when the spirit and the human collide in that one moment of like, no way, <laughs> it's a brilliant thing because you're like, oh yeah, of course, we knew that all the time because we're constantly connected. And uh, of course, we would, you know, that's, that subconscious is always fil filtering down. So that's the other message, you know, it's a remembering that all of your thoughts are creating your reality, are creating your, your, your reunion bubble. So it's really important, especially like at this time, you know, it's an opportunity. Yesterday's energy was about the Ace of Cups. It's like... The divine is handing you a opportunity for a new emotional start. Um, but it's not just, we're not talking just about the twin flame union. It's about this, this love energy which creates miracles in your life. The love vibration is the highest vibration of all. And therefore, when you vibe at that level, you create the manifestations that you want for your life. You know, the bees will come to you. The signs will come to you. There will be so much support from the universe around you. The other thing that's been super, super strong recently um, and is really ramping up is support from ancestors, deceased relatives. Um, all of, you know, basically the whole support team is coming together. And uh, again, just open your eyes and, and uh, listen. And, you know, for me, I've... So the sign of the fox is super strong all the time. My great grandmother had a pet fox. The fox is a sign of they will help you come back together, uh, help you get out of tricky situations. Um, there are so many things. My my twin's mum deceased. She died last year or the year before. My grandpa. I mean, just there is just bombarding with messages from the other side. So um, just know that everyone is there to support you, but you have to reach out, you have to ask for help, you have to intentionally ask to live a life marrying spirit and, phys and physical, right? Because we're spirit living a human experience, but we have free will. We don't always have to tap into the spirit because we can live in the human experience only. Uh, it's about using both. So that's the message today. It's really about believing in the impossible, trusting that a new, look at that, a new start is coming. And that's all because we've got, we're in this energetic gateway that is super powerful. Um, so make use of that. All right. Well, I hope that helps. And um, I hope that you have a great day. If you want a healing reading, it's $20. Channeled letters, $10. These books are all available on Amazon. Um, Akashic Record Reading, eight questions, $80. Um, all available to help you, you know, to stay on track, to get the messages that you need to help you. But the big message is a new start is coming, so believe in the impossible. All right, take care. I hope you have a great day. Bye.